Say. Fair point. However, I good point. However, truly, I don't know what to do. Saranoa. Indeed. Yes. I see. What should we do? Ah, yes? What if... I require some time to think. Aye, lad. Hmm... I've made up my mind. It is time to cast our votes. In which strategy do we entrust the future of Glenbrook? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I am sorry. Even still. I agree wholeheartedly. I changed my mind. I'm with you. Scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We collapse the reservoir and flood the capital, dealing a crippling blow to the enemy forces. You will submerge the capital to win the battle. I see. So Wolfort rules with military might. It is a thorny path you tread. 
Your people will resent you for this. I know. It would be unfortunate if you didn't, but that is what it means to rule with might. I must return to Hyzant and see Minister Kamsel. Next we meet, you will have both of our armies at your backs. You have my thanks. We cannot afford to lose this fight. For Norzelia. I thought this battle was for Glenbrook. This is not a simple struggle for power, Minister Serenov. The Goddess, the Source, Iron? The War of Thirty Years Ago comes back to haunt us because the old cling to relics of the past. Norzelia needs to be born anew. Right now, the people of every nation are searching for a young standard bearer to guide them. A standard bearer? Yes, people like you and me. This war is a fine opportunity for us to show our worth to Norzelia. <laughs> House Wolfort and Hyzant join forces and begin planning Glenbrook's recapture. But with the Norzelia River and the Esfrosti armies in their way, retaking the capital will be no easy feat. Benedict hatches a plan to break the dam, flood the capital, and use the ensuing chaos to take Whiteholm Castle. Saranoa and the others know that the city will not escape unscathed, but are left with no recourse if they wish to defeat the enemy in one fell swoop. In support of House Wolfort, Hyzant's great army marches forth for the first time since the Salt Iron War. Lady Destra, we finally have the upper hand. The path we tread was not an easy one, but Lord Saranoa persevered and has become a fine leader because of it. Once we reclaim the capital and restore the kingdom to its former glory, we may finally see peace. My job will soon be over. Please. Pray for Wolfort's success. What is it, my lord? I've been searching for you. The soldiers are calling. About the provisions, I presume. I shall take my leave. This is my mother's grave. I see. Benedict visits her in place of her unworthy son. He is a cool-headed man, but undoubtedly more than just that. But of course. Frederica, would you visit my mother's grave with me? Are you certain? Of course. Then I would love to.
General, it appears an army of Hyzantian soldiers has arrived at Castle Wolfort. No doubt they've come to take Whiteholm from us. Oh no. Whatever will we do? It looks like they didn't take kindly to brothers' schemes. Aflora, dispatch an army at once. There is no need. It is best we await them here. No matter how great an army they possess, they will not fell this stronghold easily. All we need to do is buy time. Once they realize what the Archduke is planning, they will tremble in fear. That will put S-Frost in the same position as it was during the Salt Iron War, which, need I remind you, we lost. Things are different than they were 30 years ago. They have no just cause for their actions. You understand, don't you, Your Majesty? I do. I am the Queen of Glenbrook now. An attack on the capital constitutes treason toward the Crown and their kingdom. The people will not support someone without a cause. Without their backing, Wolfort cannot hope to win. I refuse to acknowledge that pitiful little puppet as queen. As do I. She disgusts me. Personal emotions have no place on the battlefield. I cannot entrust anything to such fools, and the Archduke shall know of it. Aflora! The nerve of that woman. So the battle against House Wolford begins. Minister Saranoa, Minister Kamsel and I have brought as many soldiers as we could. Thank you for bringing reinforcements. It was you who moved them. There has not been an army this great in Hyzant for 30 years. The Salt Iron War also brought friends and foes together like this. We may have won then, but we had best not get cocky. Of course. Which is why we have a strategy to ensure our victory. Minister Exam gave me a brief overview of the plan. Coordination will be the key to our success. Indeed. Let us go over the plan in detail. Another war as big as the last. Just how great will the damage be this time? Let us reconfirm our strategy. Benedict, if you would. Our target, Whiteholm Castle, was built upon a sandbar in the Norzelia River. The city, sprawled upon the riverbank, is connected to the castle by a single bridge. The river and town are the greatest obstacles to invading armies. I am well aware. I cannot believe my ears when I heard of Esfrost's invasion. They used the new mining venture to take us by surprise. However, the Estrosti army has solidified its defenses. They will likely spread their forces in front of the bridge. It is the only path of entry. Geographically speaking, it would be impenetrable. But we shall use that geography to our advantage. The surrounding river was originally prone to floods. But the kings of old spent years improving the river and created a dam upstream to control its water levels. We plan to explode that dam using your Elfric. And create a deluge to cleanse the city of Esfrosty soldiers. Indeed, it is a plan they can neither predict nor defend against. Their entire army will be swept away. The people will not let you get away with that. 
There was once a residence along the riverside for nobles and wealthy merchants. However, it is now occupied by as frosty aristocrats and officers. That should mitigate Glenbrook's casualties. But there will doubtlessly be deaths. Not to mention the lake is the kingdom's source of water, or so I hear. The price of victory will be the people's deep-seated hatred. Ugh. I know, but I am willing to assume any grudge they would bear. Your resolve has been duly noted. I shall lend you my strength. On your signal, we shall enter the city and evacuate as many citizens as we can. You are a kind man, Minister Council. But this would incur quite a debt of gratitude. Allow me to lend a hand as well. Thank you. Milo, the Blast Crystal is capable of destroying the dam, yes? Undoubtedly. Excellent. Then our strategy is settled. First, you two must put pressure on the capital. I wish for you to draw the attention of the Esfrosti army. We shall head to Tellior and set the Blast Crystal. It will explode tomorrow at daybreak. Very well. May the fortunes of war favor us. Hyzant and Wolfhold begin to put their strategies into action. To draw the eye of the Esfrosti forces, the Hyzantian army encircles the crown city of Glenbrook. Meanwhile, Serenoa and the others quietly make their way up the Norzelia River toward Tenio, Elfric in tow. Though aware of the risks, they hope exploding the dam will flood the city below and rid it of the Esfrosti forces within. As Huet reported, there are as frosty soldiers here, but not many. Of course. The lake is a precious water reservoir for the kingdom. Indeed, which is why House Tellior sealed themselves up here. So now we wait until nightfall to set the blast crystal. Before that, there are two things we must do. The first is to find a place for it. And the second is to disable the street lamps. You mean those posts? At night, the lamps draw on the power of rocks called Lumistone to glow. We must remove them. Then we'll split up into two teams. Benedict and Milo, I leave the lake to you. I shall take care of the street lamps. Very well. Anna, Lord Serenoa's disguise. It is ready. To think the young lord capable of such a thing. He is a curious man, isn't he? No, he isn't.
Constable Sikris reporting for duty. Esfrost has sent me to help patrol the area. Welcome, Constable. If you don't mind my asking, what brings an officer to this lake? I can't say for sure. I'm merely obeying orders. There are more guards than before. That doesn't mean they are keen to our plan. Stick to the strategy. 